Oh, I sure do. I sure do. Oh, I love munching on popcorn while watching my favorite show. Um. <laughs> hey, Sam, you want to shoot some hoops? Catch! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were going to catch. I'm fine. <gasps> That's my favorite moment. Oh, Sammy, let's play. Can't you see how much I miss you? Oh, please, come on, Sam. Already busy. Okay, I get it. You're stressed, but I can help you calm down. Look at these squishes. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't eat anything. Huh? Okay, fine. You don't notice me. Well, you ask for it. Maybe Wednesday will get your attention. Uh, what? Shiver me cheddars. You're like from the show. Now will you come with me? Do you have to ask? <laughs> Wednesday. Uh, I mean, Sue. Where did you go? Hello. I'm here, huh? Sammy, and I have something interesting. A portrait of your favorite character. Oh, huh? But why does it look so strange? It's like two portraits in one. How are we gonna color the. Oh, holy cannoli! And this is what we'll do we'll deal with one at a time. Phew, you scared me, Sue. Okay, so which one will be the first? Oh, come on, make your pick. <laughs> hmm, I'm gonna pick this one. Awesome! So let's get to it. I've got the markers. And we'll start with this one. Uh, it looks good, but it's like something's off. Let's ask for an expert opinion. Hi, Sam. I mean it. Uh, what? Sue is drawing uh, Wednesday right now. Wednesday's drawing? Yeah, can you help uh, us? Hmm, that doesn't look real. Huh? <gasps> Let's add more shades. <laughs> huh? Oh no! Is this some otherworldly force? What's happening? Getting something. Did you make shadows Stop everywhere? Stop bossing around, Sammy. I haven't finished yet. Let's move on to the eyes. Oh, yes, they're brown and so penetrating. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, ah, they got into my toe! Ah! <laughs> oh, Sammy, so that you're no longer afraid, we'll use a different color. You could also add some white to brighten up her eyes. All right. But, uh, actually, can I do it myself? Oh, thanks. Oh, wow. Well, well, just a little bit more. <gasps> I've got an idea! <laughs> oh, that is so you. Didn't finish painting and left it halfway. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. Wait a minute. I didn't actually run for nothing. Do you notice anything? Oh, wow. Well, it might just work. Mm, let me see. So, you haven't forgotten about the eyebrow, have you? <gasps> it's a one eyed monster! <laughs> oh, Sammy, you get scared so easily. We just haven't finished yet. Friends, do you like this half of Wednesday's portrait? If yes, give us a thumbs up. Hey, Sue, I brought colored markers here. Maybe they'll come in handy too. Mm, well, we could color her hair. Cool idea. Let me just consult with an expert first. Hello? Huh? No, no, no. These colors will be too much. Oh, no, not again. Well, you could have just said no. Huh? <gasps> I'm sorry. Huh? 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 A white marker? <gasps> well, this'll do. Huh, it really does look much better. Yeah, but next time, don't throw markers at the slime! Oh, I can finally do her hair. So, hey! Sammy, stop messing around. Wednesday's hair is black. <laughs> Why is it always Sammy? I didn't do anything, just wanted to help. Let me start, and you will guide me, all right? <laughs> Let's add a little bit more hair. Uh-huh. Well, what do you say, Sammy? Uh, why isn't her hair shiny? Oh, where's the stylus when you need one? <laughs> no, it won't work like that. Wait a minute. I'll fix it now. Uh-huh. See? Well, at least something should be bright in this picture. Fine, let's color the background with this. Oh, uh -huh. well, that should work. Uh, whoa! Hey, listen, I heard something. The black collar is the latest trend in fashion. Oh, really? Hmm, well, we can try that. Thanks for the oh. insight. <laughs> well, not at all. I'm always happy to help. So, let's start with the outline. Then we'll paint the middle. Hmm, and what color will the dress be? I know what will help us decide. The rock, paper, scissors. Let the game begin. 
Wednesday and Sam are in a head-to-head -head battle to choose the color of the next marker. As a result of a tedious struggle, the winner is… Wednesday! What? Well, I won't leave it like that! Take that! Oh! <laughs> it tickles! Please stop! Now who won, huh? <laughs> Stop it, Sammy! I want a fair fight! And I choose the brown marker! Now, let's take the black one. Wait, I don't get it. Where is it? I have it. I took it to draw my self-portrait. Check this out. <laughs> I think there is a resemblance. <laughs> <sighs> well, for how long should I wait? I want a color too, you know. Sammy, why are you so grumpy? Just take the marker and do it yourself. Huh? Why didn't I come up with that? What is it? Uh, I mean, Sue, is it okay if I add some lights and shades here and there? Go ahead. Uh -huh. So now let's do a couple of strokes here and here too. A little bit more. Here you go. My job hmm. is done. Well, not bad. I think we're done here. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> well, I think this cartoonish Wednesday was a success. What do you say? I say let's send it to Nevermore for evaluation. <laughs> um... Enid! Enid, where are you? I brought the drawing! Enid! <laughs> uh, huh? Huh? What? <laughs> this is mine now! Huh? Huh? Well, it doesn't look bad, but why only a half? Uh, well, we're kind of out of ideas. Here, talk to the boss. Uh, and I'll hold on to this for a while. <laughs> hmm? How did he get there so fast? <sighs> Just make the second part more realistic. We'll help you. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Enid. I'll do my best. To achieve the desired skin tone, let's mix several colors. We'll take this one first, the lighter one. And now goes another color, a little bit darker. Like this. So, well, if we're drawing realism, that would definitely need a real makeup. I read everything! <laughs> Okay, let's see what's in there. Huh, a lipstick. Well, I have a marker of the same color. Let's go. Hey, I found something else here. Whoa! Thank you. We'll use them for the eyes. There are so many colors here. Let's choose this one. Well, how will it look? <gasps> Great! Mm, let me check. Uh, it doesn't look right. Hold on, I haven't finished yet. We need to add a couple more strokes here. And a couple of strokes there. Uh-huh, this will give life to her look. She turned out beautiful. No creepiness at all. Hold your horses, Sammy. And for new friends, we'd like a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's doing so well. Huh? Oh, no. I'm stuck. <laughs> huh? What's happening? Whoa. <sighs> oh, whoops. <laughs> it was my little blast. <laughs> Sorry. Phew. At least it's over now. Well, what are you doing here chilling? Who's gonna call it the rest? I will, I will. Well, Wednesday's hair is ready. But now my hair's in trouble. Hmm, let's fix it. Uh-huh. Oh, so much better. Hey, let's make Wednesday's hair shine too! All right. Why did you prepare this pencil? Wednesday was black, not blue, you know. <laughs> oh, how rude! <laughs> A few more finishing touches, and the background will be ready. Here we go. Well done! And now you can draw an outfit! Looking at me! Just look at my color! <laughs> I'll 
take you as a reference. You're like a walking Wednesday guide. <laughs> Wow, her wonderful dress will contrast with her black color. I promise it'll turn out great. Wow, call the Nevermore News! Here we have Wednesday Drawing Wednesday! <laughs> so what? I almost make her look like me. And in my opinion, she turns out well. Now let's work on the frills and her dress. Realism? Your drawing doesn't look like this photo. Oh, really? Well, now I'll tickle you, Mr. Great Art Critic. <laughs> now you're talking. All we've left to do is just a couple more finishing touches. Uh, well, the lips turned out just awesome, and the tone of the lipstick fits her perfectly. <laughs> so now you're also a great makeup artist, I see. Oh, well done, Sammy. A good crafter needs to know a little bit about everything. <laughs> so, how much longer? I can't wait to see the final results! Just a few more seconds, Sammy. Well, check out what we've got. Hmm, somehow these lines from a pencil confuse me. And I just happen to have an eraser. Okay, <laughs> I got it. And now we can all admire the portrait! We finally got it done. And it came out just awesome! Shall we send it to Enid now? I don't think so. Just a couple of pictures will do. <laughs> Did you enjoy painting with us? Then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe! See you soon! <laughs> Hi everyone! Today Sam and I are in the mood for coloring. Come on and join us! Alright Susie, let's see what new things you know that I don't know yet. Oh, Sammy, get ready to be impressed. Whoosh. Ah, you want me to work on the same picture? Okay, then. Not quite yet, actually. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Mr. Great Artist. But why do you need a scalpel? We are going to make a kind of stencil from this sketch. Remember to always be careful with sharp objects, guys, and try to work neatly, of course. There's no need to cut out everything. Just the few most remarkable elements. I wonder where this is going. Ugh. Give us a thumbs up if you do too, guys! Okay, the brows, the eyes, and the lips are done. And we don't need this big part as well. Whoop. Now we will simply put our stencil on top of our sketch. This way. Uh-huh! The cutout parts perfectly align with the same elements on the sketch! That's right. And just to be safe, let's secure the whole thing with paper clips. Here we go. Shiver me chatters, I think I got it. Now we're going to simply paint those parts with a brush, right? Well, you've got the point. Only instead of a paintbrush, we'll use this. Shiver me chatters, this is going to be fun. What do you say about all of these colors? Looking cool, huh? Holy cannoli, let me come up closer. All right, you can proceed now, Sue. <laughs> Let's roll. Now, Sammy, check this out. I bet it wasn't as boring for you as simple coloring would have been, huh? Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I wonder what else you've got up your sleeve. The next in our coloring workshop is this young lady. Huh, she's too blurry. 
sorry to be colored with the paint roller, don't you think so? You're right. This time, we're gonna do some sketching. The best part of this technique, guys, is that you don't have to be too precise. Just place your marker against the paper and create. Use any colors that you want. Switch the width of the lines you're drawing by switching the chisel tip to the brush tip and back. Wow, what knowledge! The chisel tip will work best for the eyebrows if we use it like this. Up, 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 up. We can even add some shades and mix colors. Here we go. Okay, Sue, I want to try to do that too. Ah, what a bright color! Awesome! Ha, ah, I love that! Sammy? Where'd you go? I've got a terrific idea, Sue. Finish that sketch without me. Oh, <laughs> Sammy and his ideas. And there is even more yet to come. Sammy, we're waiting here. Ah, oh, come on, where did he go? Oh. What? Where did this come from? Oh, sorry, Sue, I had to run to the hardware store. And why exactly did you get this? Please don't tell me that your idea was to paint the walls in your room again. Actually, uh, yeah, the walls do bother me. But that's not the point! Better check this out! Are these watercolors? But I thought we were going with unusual coloring today. Stop being suspicious and make the big paintbrush rainbowy already! Okay, okay. In that case, the red color comes first. Guys, you can use any colors you want! While we prefer the Roy G. Biv palette. You know it, right? Well done, Susie. Now just make one nice diagonal stroke. Your wish is my command. Here we go. Guys, would you look at this? Amazing! See? I told you, my idea was brilliant. That's true. I really like this picture. Do you guys? Then give us a thumbs up. But how about something a little bit more complicated? Like a trip to Paris, for example. She built me chiddles! Should I go packing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need your help here. Let's give this girl a remarkable hairdo. We need this. We're also gonna use a sponge brush like this one. And acrylic paints of our favorite colors. By the way, guys, we love painting and coloring, and there are a bunch of videos about that on our channel. Oh, you should totally check them out. Ooh. All right, people, let's get started. The paint should just go straight through the stencil. Light and fast touches will seal the deal. to work sequentially. Sue is doing the very first layer. And I'm gonna make the second one. We'll carefully take the first stencil off of our picture and let it dry. Only after that can we move on to the next step. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Slime Sam with a sponge a great picture can do. <laughs> you see? Easy peasy. Nice poem, Sammy. And well done with these clouds and a moon. But we've got to move forward. There are three more layers to go. Ah, 
how nice it must be to fill the wonderful city of Paris in your hair. You don't say, Sammy. Now this little Eiffel Tower will help us finish a few tiny details. And that's it. Watercolors will help us out with the makeup. And voila! A wonderful French lady portrait is finished. Oh, Chandelier! Oh, Chandelier! And if you wanna know what's gonna come next over here, then you had better stay with us, don't go anywhere! Welcome back, guys. And here's one more girl without a hairdo so far. What are we gonna draw in her hair? New York? London? Tokyo? <laughs> Actually, this time we'll go with some sparkly glitter. But first, we need to draw the outline of her hairdo with glue. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get all the sparkles for my secret stash. I know Sammy loves shiny things. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to really be precise here. And by the way, you can make anything else sparkly on this portrait. I'm gonna add some glue on the girl's lips as well. Who's ready to see my precious collection of glitter? Ha ha! Wow, Sammy, you really brought everything you had. And note that not everything is pink here. <laughs> well, in that case, I want to start with the darkest hue. Here we go. Guys, you know that you can totally follow your inspiration with this craft, right? Oh, yeah. Get creative, and you will get a one-of-a-kind, very beautiful and sparkly portrait. Susie, do you mind? A little bit over here, and just a pinch right there. I like this type of art. <laughs> oh, I really like how this portrait turned out. Holy cannoli! But you're not saying that we're done here, right? I want to keep coloring! <laughs> there is one more technique that I've been long wanting to try. You should protect your tables for this, guys. Meet our last girl. Ooh, she looks like a girl I knew back in Tibidaba. Wait a second. Is that all drawn in a single line? Yup, cool, right? Awesome! In a few minutes, we'll try to repeat it in one single line as well. But first, let's prepare this special watercolor paper for the coloring. The secret is not to spare the water, because watercolors really love it. That's why, before you start working, you should secure your picture against the table with double-sided tape. And that part is done. Now we're just going to apply different watercolors onto the paper, creating a few random splashes and blots, like this. We'll use a brush to kind of direct the way they smear. Ah, that's a very professional color blending, Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for my personal challenge. Just make sure that everything's dry before you do this, guys. Why don't we let Sue finish her last piece of art for today? And in a couple of seconds, we will take a look at everything! All right, what will it be? The sun, the rainbow, a few clouds. Oh, hello, friends. You're already here, and I have everything ready. Vroom, vroom. Here's some thicker paper for you, Rod. Oh, thanks, Sam. Have you already came up with what you will draw? Or should I help you with that, too? I know that you're a great idea generator, Sam, but I think I can handle it myself. Well, well. Oh, you scared me. Rainbows and unicorns, huh? <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary, am I right? 
As always, you're in a hurry. We'll have only a unicorn onesie here. One, two, three. See for yourself. What? Uh, I think my glasses fogged up. Uh, oh. <gasps> you dropped your kids in onesies on the crowd? <sighs> and also a rainbow. Not just one, though. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> oh, my feta. Give us a thumbs up if you love this idea, too. Off somewhere. This is my chance. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to leave my mark on this magnificent. <laughs> so I found the liner. What is this? Sammy, did you draw this? I just really wanted to be needed, Raj. You keep working on your own. Of course I need you. Let me show you something. Abracadabra. Ta-da! There you go. Just don't be sad. <gasps> my precious! While Sammy is busy, let's finish the first stage of our crafts and move on to coloring. Let's start outlining everything from this corner. Uh, uh, Raj, don't you think uh, that a rainbow should have uh, seven colors? Well, that Roy GB thing, you know? You're right. But what if it's a fairy tale world with a six color rainbow? Maybe this is actually a dream of one of these babies, huh? A dream, you say? Mm, I love taking a nap after a delicious snack. I'll be right here in the cloud. Oh, wake me up when you're done with the liner. As you say, I don't mind working in silence for a bit. Sam, it's time to get up. Uh, uh, what? Uh, I'm not sleeping. Are you done already? <gasps> what is this? Oh, how long did I sleep? <laughs> Let me help Ow! you. Yeah, thanks. Now check it out. What do you think of all this? Never me chatters. It turned out just great. Now we need to color that thing. I didn't know that I prepared myself a worthy competitor in drawing. Like this, yes. Carefully, easy. Now lower it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great break, buddy. But now it's time for work. Boom! <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, these watercolor pencils draw very softly. Great! Did you just call them watercolor? Should they be washed away with water? We can work with them as usual. Look how bright the colors are. Archer, don't confuse me! <laughs> okay, I'm sold. We're going to do this with water. Mix colors, make soft transitions. Holy cannoli, Roger! Your drawing looks like a real piece of art! I wonder why there's such a surprise in your voice. Did you not believe in me? Ha, of course you didn't. Nobody expected such a result. All right, that's enough. Get lost, you. Uh, can I also try this painting technique? Of course, Sammy. Soak a brush in water and try to blur the color right here. Ha, in a moment. So, like this. Just a little more. Oh, this and you're doing great. Much. How about coloring one of the babies in the picture? Are you serious? And I can choose the colors myself. I pick this one. All done. And I even gave this kitty cute pink cheeks just like mine. Great job, buddy. Let me just work it up a bit. By the way, here it is important not to overdo it with water, so that the color does not flow out of the outline of the picture. But still, this way you can make any drawing very beautiful, right? Oh, 
Perhaps I should have drawn a smaller picture. <laughs> For tired hands that cannot color, the drawing magic gives you power. Wow, <laughs> that's what I call magic. Thank you, oh great slime wizard. This one reminds me of the Easter Bunny. <laughs> yeah, and he also seems to have taken air into his chubby cheeks and now he's tailing. You mean like this? <laughs> oh, Slick Slime and his funny tricks. <laughs> By the way, Sam, you reminded me that I also know some magic. Oh, ta-da! Great, we're done! Say that we're done, Raj! Has Monsieur Magnifique taught you nothing? <laughs> huh? What? We have to work out the background. The details, we haven't used the markers yet. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Just keep working by the mozzarella. How does he know anything? Well, well, let's see. Yellow and orange? No. Green and brown? Definitely no. Hmm. What are you up to, Raj? I want to make the background not only cute but also gradient, but what color to choose? <laughs> Still thinking. There's nothing cuter than pink. Come on, try this if one. You say so. I trust you completely, buddy. Let's go. In case someone doesn't know, a gradient is a smooth transition from one color to another. And then on to the next, and the next. So there can be as many colors as you like. We started with pink, we finished with blue, and blend everything in the middle. Hmm, I like the way you're thinking, Raj. I approve. And a little more, just like that. A couple of brush strokes, and we're done. What do you say, Sammy? Did I do a good job? Let me take a closer look. <laughs> In general, I like it. But because of the blur and in some places, the picture is fuzzy. That's easy to fix. Seriously? How? <laughs> With markers, of course. Let's take the color we want. And just add brightness, shades, accents. So in general, we'll do this. Oh, I love what we're doing. Please give us a thumbs up if you agree. And don't forget to subscribe to huh? this wonderful and interesting channel. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have markers at hand, you can add the accents with the same watercolor pencils. And I came up with something else. Come on, move over, Roger. So, huh? And this. Just a little more. Perfect. Sammy, that was a great finishing touch. Well done. Why, thank you. Now let's take a good look at what we've got. 